after the Rome Statute was established in 2002, Uganda, under the guidance of President Museveni, made the first referral to the International Criminal Court with the aim of having the commanders of the Lord's Resistance Army face justice for atrocities committed during the war against the government of Uganda. However, some hold the view that Moreno Ocampo, who was the ICC chief prosecutor at the time, breached the principles of impartiality by holding a joint press conference with President Museveni. They claim that the UPDF was also accused of some atrocities and therefore meeting President Museveni slanted all future proceedings in favor of government. On the other hand, um, President Museveni is also a potential suspect. The prosecutor of the ICC has to investigate um, impartially, independently, uh, and to look at all possible suspects. And as we know, in northern Uganda, it was not only the Lord Resistance Army that has been documented to have been committing crimes, there is also the possibility of the government army having committed crimes. Some of the reasons for the referral was that Uganda may not have the structures to try the case. Now that the court is trying on when for war crimes and crimes against humanity, other issues like crimes committed in Teso and Lango have not been addressed. Some of the northern Ugandan delegates at The Hague demanded for a permanent office in Gulu where they can report other cases of atrocities or offer witness testimony. At the moment, the challenge we have is that the process of identifying victims by the ICC has been rushed. So that's why we have only about 4,000 registered to participate out of so many uh, potential victims. The, the quick and, and, and straightforward answer to this, and, and a very frank answer to this, is, is a matter of resources. Also, while meeting the Acholi delegation, Fatou Ben Souda, the chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, reiterated how state parties have an obligation to arrest suspects wanted for cases before the ICC, like Sudanese President Omar Assa al-Bashir. Ben Souda also confirmed that ICC had received a case file accusing government of committing atrocities in Kasese in 2016 and that they are analyzing the submissions. The point is, during the phase that they are analyzing an information that is submitted normally, the Office of Prosecutor does not make public that what they are analyzing. This is also in order to protect the people who are submitting this information. The International Criminal Court tries crimes that are suspected to have happened after 2002. However, there are still victims that are seeking justice for atrocities that were committed before 2002. And if a reconciliation commission is established, it may be a necessary path for healing. Andranitwe, NTV, The Hague, Netherlands.